This is a geek leader. Hey guys, this is John Rada, and today I want to talk to you guys about how to quit your job the right way. I'm not going to really get into why you should quit your job. There's lots of different reasons and lots of other shows out there that will talk to you about you know, whether you should take the next step in your career and look for something else or if you should quit your job to become an entrepreneur or something like that. For me, the um, uh, I'll just go ahead and throw this out there, but I don't think anyone should ever quit their job unless they have something else lined up or they have a uh, very good idea of something that's going to make them uh, very, very happy and hopefully pretty successful as well. Um, a couple of examples, if you really hate your job, you know, spend most of your time when you're not at work looking for a new job to get out of there. Um, but don't just go ahead and quit and then go try to find something unless you're in a really hot market and you're pretty positive that you're going to get something else. But I would always wait till you have another job in hand before uh, quitting. But what I want to talk about is just what you do after you've you know, gotten to the point where you've got a new job, you've accepted it, and you're ready to go. So how to quit the right way. Now, in my years of being a manager, I've had many people beneath me quit. I've quit you know, some several jobs myself. And um, two years ago, I made uh, I quit my job to move to the current role that I'm at. And even since I've been here, I've had an employee quit. And I have lots of experience of what is the right way and what is the wrong way to quit. So I'm going to go through seven quick tips, uh, things you can do to quit your job the right way. All right, so number one, have a plan. Have a plan before you quit. Have this thought through do some practice, you know, figure some things out about how, when, when you quit, what you're going to do, how you're going to go about it, who you're going to talk to first, um, hopefully it's your direct manager, um, and we're going to go next. Also, be prepared for questions that they're going to ask you and, and plan on that. So have a plan. Um, number two is to write a formal resignation letter. Now, I know that may sound old school, but have a really nice, polite resignation letter, all written out, you know, Make sure that you proof it, that it's written well. This is the last documented thing that your former company will have about you. And you want it to be very positive. You want it to come off you know, extremely well done. So make sure it's really well written and proof it. Have someone else proof it for you. All right, number three, tell your boss first. Always give your boss the news. You know, Always make sure that they are the first ones to hear from you. Don't let them hear from someone else. Don't tell them in the email. Tell them face to face, and if you work remotely, you have to do it over, uh, you know, a video meeting like Zoom or, or uh, Skype or a phone call. That's okay too, but make sure you tell them first. Don't let it show up on LinkedIn that you've left. Um, also, don't even put it on LinkedIn until after your last day. I think it's pretty rude um, and disrespectful to go ahead and post your new job while you're still at your old job. Uh, I've had people do that for me, and I'm like, really? Uh, I actually had an employee turn his notice to me. And then I got a notification that he had just changed jobs on LinkedIn. You know, so obviously I haven't had t- time to tell my team or even my boss for that matter. So that was that was kind of rude and disrespectful. So give your company um, the opportunity to inform the people that need to know before you go post it on social media. Um, number four, be ready for questions. Uh, it's very likely that your company is going to um, try to keep you if you're a good, good employee. So. You might want to check out the episode that we did on negotiation skills. Um, if you are interested in staying and you want to negotiate, but personally, I think if, when you turn in your notice, you're done, and that should be the way that you approach it. You shouldn't turn in your notice in order to try to get a raise. That's that's kind of the wrong way about going about that. If you want a raise, ask for a raise, but don't don't quit to get a raise. That's that's not a good good tactic at all. Um, it's also really good that you have a written manual of your job, the things that you do, the things, the questions that people may ask you in order to help the transition to the new person be very effective. The more documentation you can provide when you leave, the better. I had one employee when he, uh, he left after being, you know, working for me for three and a half years, he actually took the time to take uh, screen grab videos of himself, um, about some of the tasks that he did on a regular basis. He, he went through and did code reviews basically of a lot of his applications that he was, you know, the, the lead on and did you know? I think he gave me eight hours of code review walkthroughs that he did, just screen grabs, when he would go through and talk about this application. Here's you know the reason why I use this framework, or you know these libraries here, and so on and so forth. And it was really well done, and it made the transition to the new person that came in to take his spot very very easy. Um, so I highly recommend something like that. Um, 
if you're leaving and people ask you why you're leaving and so on and so forth, be honest, be open. Um, also, don't hide where you're going. Someone says, oh, where, where, where's your new job? Don't say, oh, I can't tell you that. That's really creepy. Um, don't do something like that. Just be open and honest about it. Um, but never talk about sours. Just just don't do it. It's not worth the um, the blowback that might happen from that. It's not worth the, your peers from your old team, the feelings that they might have. Uh, it's just better just to leave sours off the table. <clears throat> All right, remain professional. That's number five. Remain professional. And in your last uh, you know, two weeks or however many days you, you have left, work your butt off. I mean, just work your butt off. Work hard. Work long hours if you have to. Don't just succumb to the temptation to slack off. A lot of people do that. <coughs> Excuse me. By the way, I'm not editing this out, so if you hear me cough, I've had a lot of bad allergies down here in the south, and it's uh, it's killing me right now. So I may cough a few times, and that's okay. But um, don't succumb to the temptation to slack off. This is the time where you need to work your hardest. You need to um, leave the best impression possible of to your coworkers, to your boss. You never know when you're cross paths with these people again. You really don't. Um, so do your best. Leave with your best foot forward. <clears throat> yeah. Plus, you know, it's just the right thing to do. It's what you should be doing anyway. All right, and number six, once it's time to leave, leave respectfully. Um, on your way out, spend a few extra minutes telling folks bye, you know, thanking them, um, letting them know how you grew because of them. Um, you know, don't, don't go and lie or anything like that, but try to find the things that people have helped you with. I made it a point before I left to go and have one-on-ones with everybody that reported to me and let them know how much I valued working with them and how, even though I was their boss, how much I learned from each individual person. I had a bulleted list of things that I've learned from them. I tried to do the same for um, my boss as well. (coughs) Excuse me again. Um, And I met with my mentor that was at my my office and talked to him about it. I let him know all the things that I learned from him. Um, And and it it was just a really... um, a really good thing to, to go out that way, but it was also good for them to give them a boost that this wasn't ending, that, you know, don't be sad that I'm leaving and so on and so forth. Uh, feel free to share out your personal um, contact information with people if you want. <clears throat> and make sure you always avoid saying anything negative about your current boss, your current employee, uh, employer, or anybody that you've worked with. Just, you know, keep it all positive when you leave. And the last one, number seven, is follow-up. Try to reach back out to the people that you've worked with before. It means a lot to them. And also, you can get some things, um, some feedback, some follow-up about how your transition was, how the person came in after you was able to um, work based on how you you left the place. Because you always want to leave a place better for having you been there. You don't want to leave it and it be a, a shambles when you left. You want the next person to come in and the transition to be smooth and easy. That means you did a good job of leaving. Uh, the, the IT director that left the position where I'm at now, he left it very well documented um, <coughs> excuse me, and had everything in order so it was an easy transition for me to get there. All right, with that being said, I'm going to cut this, this uh, podcast episode a little bit short because I am coughing up a storm and these allergies are killing me. Um, but I do hope you head over to iTunes and subscribe and I hope you enjoy this episode. Um, and hit me up on Twitter at John Rauda or send me an email. Um, or go to a geekleader.com and uh, just leave me a message there. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.